Got it. Got him. Got him. Fuck yes. That's a good bass. Here is the beautiful Devil's River. This is the first part of the river that you see when you walk the one mile trail down from the parking area to the river. You've got these beautiful cliffs to the right that follow the river all the way down. They say it's about a mile stretch of river that's part of the actual state natural area. The rest on the other side of the river is all private property. A lot of people do the full four day kayaking journey down river. If you are gonna do that, know that you need to communicate with somebody who owns land down river because the state park ends in less than a mile. And if you need to get out, you need to get landowner permission. But we're not gonna be doing that today. We're just gonna be hitting it from the banks, catching a whole bunch of bass and making it happen. Walking down the path towards Finnegan Springs on the Devil's River. Saw an armadillo here yesterday when we were fishing. There are a ton of trees and my poles keep getting caught in those. But a ton of great fishing spots and the best fishing spots are always the ones that are hard to get to. To the start of the Finnegan Springs, they do go uh, for a little bit. They just feed from these cliffs into the river. The water cold this morning? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my socks wet right now. And you can see some of these falls pouring into the river on our right. They just cascade down the hillside. There is an endangered Devil's ri uh, River minnow that is found in the springs as well. Here you can hear the, uh, oh, I see some minnows right there. You can hear the rapids up here to the right, but these springs continue on for uh, a couple hundred yards. This is beautiful, serene river out here, man. Untouched country. Just amazing. Caught a lot of good bass yesterday. Good 3.2 pounder. We got uh, 2.7 pounder. So we had some good luck yesterday. Need to try to replicate that today. But water feels amazing. It was about 50s, low 50s last night while we slept. It gets up to about 95 during the day out here in Del, outside of Del Rio. So definitely warms up a bit. See something over there, eyeing it. Oh, there we go. Fish on, little bass, little dink. <laughs> Perfect lip hook, there you go, here buddy. Not the craziest thing, but it's a bass. Kind of little minnows swimming past me too. I'm gonna get one of those big ones. We saw easily over five pounds. Uh, we saw two of them yesterday. One was kind of just patrolling the shoreline, uh, a little bit up river right there. And I mean, we just we saw them come as we were trying to catch other ones. It's actually the same spot I caught that three pounder yesterday. This was later in the day though, right before sunset. And he just comes patrolling through. We both had our lines cast out in different directions and saw him and before we could cast at him, he, he was gone. The other one we saw was over by the swimming hole, uh, which I'll show y'all in a minute. And uh, he was also at least five or six pounds, at the least. Uh, he didn't want anything to do with what I was throwing at him yesterday though. So hopefully it's different today. Little dink through the worm.
Go Bass. Hold time, buddy. Doing some big bass. Nothing crazy, little dink. Hey. Thank you, buddy. There we go. Ain't nothing crazy. But all these small ones are eating. He did get snagged in the uh, reeds, but there was an actual little fish on there. Yeah, he's not a bad size for a little bluegill, or whatever he is. But it didn't even hook him through the mouth, man. I hooked him through the chest. Wonder how the hell that's. Wonder how that's possible. There he goes. That's a little Senko. I'm about to catch a big one. I know it. God damn it. Yes. Oh, you got him? Got him. Nothing huge, but I'll take what I can get right now. Calm down, buddy. You got some fight. Yeah, he's all right. Here's a little guy. Jeez, man. <laughs> trying to throw him back. Got it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Fuck yes. That's a good bass. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Yeah, baby. <sighs> Chill out, man. It's a healthy bass. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right, let's get these out of your mouth, bro. Got it. Sweet. There you go, buddy. Fish on. Got him, yes, you fucking got him. Yes, he's bigger than the last one. Yeah. Woo! Campo. Tick. Oh. oh. <laughs> I still got him. Where is he? <laughs> got him. Good dude here. What we got? One point seven. One point. Yeah, one point seven. Right, buddy so it was a really fun trip every time i go hunting or fishing the lessons that i always take away are to number one be prepared but number two always to be patient and just enjoy the time that you're out there because as soon as you get back into your house or wherever you're just thinking about your next trip out there matter of fact day after i got back i ended up buying a boat but that's a video for another day that we're going to put up uh, i want you guys to leave your best fishing stories uh, whether that happened this week last month or five years ago. Make sure you leave that down in the comments. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. It really supports our channel so we can keep putting this great content out there. And uh, remember, Jack does all.